the UK's first ISA millionaire, the Liberal Democrat peer and Financial Times columnist, Lord Lee of Trafford. He became the first ISA millionaire back in 2003. Uh, John, very good to see you this morning. Were you, were you surprised to learn that there were 2,000 ISA millionaires? Uh, no, I don't think so, Ian, to be honest, um, you know, because ISAs over the years have been very well publicised. Um, the I mean, PEPs, which were the precursor to ISA, um, were launched in 1987. So really, PEPs and ISAs have been around for maybe something like 35 years. Uh, and there's been a lot of publicity uh, on them. And I'm not surprised that uh, um, shrewder investors uh, and those with a little more resource have taken full advantage of all the tax breaks uh, and um, over the years built up quite a substantial nest egg. So as I said, you were the first Dyson millionaire in this country. What were the investment principles that set you on your way? Well, I've never really changed my, my overall approach. Um, I, I'm, I tend to be a very conservative investor, so um, I'm only investing in uh, companies that, that are already established, uh, that are profitable, uh, hopefully paying dividends, hopefully having too much debt. It's been very much a cautious approach, and over the years I've been fortunate in building my eyes so really brick by brick. I suppose that's the best way I would de describe it. Over those over those 35 years, it, it, it's not been uh, uh, it's not been treating the, the stock market like a, a casino. It's been patient, long-term investment, and also until relatively recently, reinvesting all those dividends. And the key thing for you is that primarily you, you invest in individual stocks rather than in managed funds. Very much so. I've always invested in individual stocks. I enjoy uh, my involvement with those companies, meeting the, the chief executives, uh, understanding their, their strategy and their approach and philosophy, uh, and staying aboard. In my view, to be a successful investor, you only need two things, really, um, common sense and patience. Uh, and actually, patience is the most important. And uh, sadly, that's what most people, most investors don't have. They chop and change, in my view, too frequently. Do you think the government should be doing more to promote the attractions of stocks and shares ISAs? I mean, most people who have an ISA tend to go for cash ISAs, which is a bit of a waste of time, quite frankly, isn't it? Uh, well, it, it's, not, it, it's not something I would recommend. And also, I think it's a great tragedy that so many people um, do have and have had in recent years a fairly significant amounts of money um, just sitting there in the bank earning next to no interest when when um, you can invest in so many fine and growing uh, UK public companies uh, that are solid investments that are growing uh, and paying dividends. Uh, so um, yes, I would like, uh, and we've discussed this before, I, I would like to see television play much more of a role in talking about the stock market and, and promoting the principles of stock market investment and bringing attractive investment opportunities to the investing public. I, I think it's, an, it's a tragedy, for example, that uh, my understanding is that, that the majority of young people or there are more young people investing in cryptocurrencies than there are uh, investing in, in, in the stock market or, or, or more serious companies. And I think that must be very worrying to government. Absolutely. John, good to talk to you this morning. Thanks very much for joining me. John Lee, Thank you. Lee. My pleasure.